pretty soon, it's been a long journey, but sports betting will be legal in North Carolina. The bill is sitting on Governor Cooper's desk as we speak, and he is expected to sign it. When he does, betting will start as soon as January, which, if you can believe it, is less than six months away. Joining us now to talk us through what this ultimately means for our area and for PNC Arena is Philip Isley. He's the executive director of Centennial Authority, which owns PNC Arena. Thank you so much for joining us. Happy to be here. So PNC Arena is one of the eight locations listed in this bill uh, in the entire state that can host in-person sports betting. But uh, I get a little confused exactly how things work over there at the arena. Uh, who makes the decisions exactly on something like the sports book? Is it the Centennial Authority uh, Board or is it the Hurricanes? Well, we believe that the license will be tethered to the actual building itself, which we have contracted with Gale Force Holdings to manage the building, and I believe they are actually having conversations right now with potential operators. We're not really privy to that at the moment. Uh, we may end up having some say in this if they need our permission, but based on what the state uh, legislation uh, purports to say, we, we believe that they're the ones that will be making the choice and then moving on from there. You know, I, I bring that up because there are all these massive renovation plans at PNC Arena. Uh, a lot of that would go into improving the fan experience. So all the things that someone like me going to a hockey game or anything at that venue, uh, what we would kind of see uh, before us, all the exciting new things. And now a sports book could be part of that. Uh, what could it look like if the full investment is made in those renovations? Well, we're still trying to work through what that's going to look like and how we phase that in, how many years it ends up taking to get that done, who our funding partners or what, what, what amount of money our funding partners will provide to us. But if we are able to accomplish the things that we're trying to accomplish, we should begin to see some new uh, or, or renovations occurring beginning next year. And there may be starting out with things that are not all that attractive, like loading docks and other sort of operational measures that make the building more efficient. But certainly a sports book is a part of this. And uh, the legislation provides for actually uh, a, a sports book inside the building or attached to the building, as well as within a half mile radius of the PNC Arena site. So that's an exciting aspect from the standpoint of 24 seven activation on the site, which we really have never had. So this may be the original sort of way to kick things off as to what we're trying to accomplish out there. But certainly I have every intention and every belief that this will enhance the fan experience. I'm wondering uh, your impression of this. You know, I was I was looking at the law and it allows for, of course, mobile sports betting as well. So everyone's going to have a sports book right in their pocket, essentially. So I'm wondering, how does that play when you want to build a kind of brick and mortar sports book, whether there's one in PNC or one just kind of outside that area? How do you attract people to come there and do their sports gambling when they can essentially go anywhere to do it? One of the things that we've done since I've been on the Centennial Authority is we tour other buildings throughout the, the nation. And we see about so the way they've enhanced themselves, how they've renovated. And most recently, we've gone to arenas with brand new or recently constructed sports books. And they're really nice. They're usually multi-story. There's leather furniture there. There's a better bar experience. There's a better restaurant experience. There are great seats to engage once you're, if you don't want to watch, you know, one of a hundred screens inside the actual sports book, you can actually go onto the ice and eat your meal or, or drink your drink. So those will be things that we'll all be looking at as we in, intend to enhance the building. But I think that having a premium product inside the building will be an additional benefit to anyone who wants to come inside, whether you're using your mobile app on your phone or you're actually deciding to go put $10 on the winner of a Hurricanes game in you know uh, October of 24. So I don't think they're going to hurt each other. I think they'll only enhance each other's availability and the fun you can have when you're doing this. Thanks for having me, Dan, and looking forward to seeing you soon. All right. Keep in mind, Governor Roy Cooper is expected to sign the bill tomorrow at 11 a.m. in Charlotte. You can catch a live stream of the event on WRAL.com and the WRAL News app.